Hello everybody. Uh, a viewer has asked me if I can show them how to make a hinge and I'm assuming it's a bit like a hinge like this. This is uh, one out of my spares box. So I'm going to show how to model this and it'll turn out... Oh, what's happened here? Go away. It'll turn out something like this. Oh dear. Yeah. So stand by, we're going to show you how to make this. Having measured uh, this hinge here, find that each flap is, well, we'll choose anywhere around here. It's 31 millimeters wide and by 1.8 thick. And when the hinges are parallel, they are 5.2 inches apart. So shift these holding the control key will duplicate this uh, 5.2 did I say inches? should be millimeters 5.2 millimeters apart now of course the pivot point of the hinge runs right down the middle here so we want to find the middle so we can put our hinge pivot point in the middle of it so we'll just put a construction line in that corner to th there and then we can find the center and I'm going to measure the diameter of the hinge pivot it's 9.9 .9. So it's going to be 9.9 .9 divided by 2 and that's where the centre of our pivot point is so escape, put a circle on here to there. Since the pivot here is made from the same material, it's obviously got to be the same thickness. So this diameter minus two of those turns out to be 6.3. 6.3. And now we can start trimming away a few things. We're now going to put a couple of radii in using the radius tool up there. Uh, we're going to make that 2.4, and this one we're going to make 4.2, and we will close off this circle a little bit using the line tool I'm going to put a line in and use the create a corner tool so we're going to put a corner in from the th there to there right and also from there to there and we can trim a few things away get uh, rid of that that and we've got our closed loop for the hinge and we don't need 
this port Now that we've got our profile made, we can start making the parts of the hinge. So the first thing we need is the profile tool. And we see that the first loop on our three loop part is 16 millimeters, 16. Now that we've got one made, we can make the middle one from it. So we select the solid and the move tool and control drag another one away so we've got to space it the right distance apart so that's 16 millimeters plus 24 for its interleaving part 24 return but this middle one is a bit wider, it's 18 millimeters, so we want to add 2 to the width on that one now. and now the other one which is on the other side of this we again want to move it control and pull another one so this one is now going to be 16 plus 24 plus 18 plus another 24 to get it on the other side so that should put it over there that's right so we've now got our three loops all we have to do now is join them together <clears throat> got three solids here so pull no no we we need to put some helper lines in K for sketch plane L for line find the end of this straight part and put a line in there escape pull tool again there's the line we've put in so we select that part and we're going to pull that part up to there using the up to tool let's connect that one to that one now we've only got two solids and do the same again select that sketch plane V L escape pull Select up to now we've only got one solid H and there's our part with three loops. So we'll now rename Hinge three loops return. And I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, I hope it will be useful to you. Stand by for part two.